Hello everyone, praise be to God on this glorious day today, and welcome back to Mandel's Maze Mayhem, the Maze Madness custom level pack. Alright, we have already gotten through the first ten levels in video number one. I'm planning right now only being able to get through five levels per video. And we're on World Free now, which is apparently called Necrotic Reef, whatever that means. Let's just get started. Oh wow. We better get swimming and collect all those kelp seeds. So we're in the sand cavern, and the sand cavern apparently has been polluted by some, uh, something. Oil, perhaps. And we're in the sponge world, it seems. Lovely. Sponges are one of those gimmicks that I'm not very good at. <laughs> uh, that was... It, that's interesting. Not sure if that's supposed to happen. Alright. I guess basically just destroy a bunch of the sponges if you can. Looks like this is just a one room level, so not too bad. This is gonna be an interesting. This seems very bizarre. The sponges are really hard to destroy from the left. Literally walked right into that one. Alright. It's not a whole lot I can do. I'm gonna have to go down here. If I can avoid using my bubble bath, I will. Even though I probably should use it over dying. Okay, come on. Destroy the sponge, Freddy Fish! <laughs> Freddy Fish! Uh oh. Alright, so this is gonna be a tricky little world, isn't it? You can get out of here, Mr. Krabs. I do not like the crabs. The crabs are probably some of the toughest enemies in the game. Just because they're very cunning and they're very fast when it comes to moving left and right. Which is the main way you move around. Oh boy. Grab it and get out. Grab it and get out. Oh, this is off to a great start. Died twice on the first level. Brilliant. <laughs> I blame the crabs. The crabs are so difficult to get Look through. Look at all those kelp seeds. Alright. Okay. <laughs> it looks like did the sponge just disappear. Where does this take me? Good. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> that was not a good idea. What if they go this way? Okay. I'll leave the kelp seed back there. Mainly because I don't really see an easy way to get it just right. Bye! Oh, interesting. Fish's sound that they make is really aggressive and kind of frightening. No! No! My worm doodle! I need that speed boost! Oh, yeah. The crabs can always sense where you are. If 
Thankfully, the, the anglerfish are not that bad to get through, but the other enemies kind of. Alright. It's like, hey. Oh, I can't get the pearl box because I wasted too many of the sponges. That's okay. I am I'm okay with my life decisions. the wheel. Okay. Whew. So I wasn't able to get the pearl box because I needed to use a sponge with the crab as a shield. And I destroyed them all. Oh well. Look at all those kelp beans. I'm going to miss a few veins. If it's something that I know I can get pretty easily and quickly, I'll go back and do it. But otherwise, nah. And it looks like here we're going to have a lot of gates to open. Where does this take me? Alright. Open one of these doors. Each one leads to a different. Well, I mean, I'm gonna open up the one that leads to the one without any danger in it first. That seems like a good idea. Those two ones at the bottom connect, so there's. So I don't want to open both of those. I just want to open one. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's enough stuff to open up all of the gates, but not necessary. I can deal with the blowfish. Blowfish are no problem. Alright, cool. Didn't even need all of those. I guess those are just there so that way if you screw up, then you don't have to restart the whole level. That's good design. I like that. Alright, level 14. Oh, wow, I Grandma like that. Kelp seeds are I like how there's the structure in the middle and you've got the cave you can go through. Oh, it's cool. It's like, so it's like you're going into like a room rather than just going up higher up in the game. That's really cool. Alright, can't do anything with the sponges over there. <laughs> So I won't be able to get the bubble bath now, that's a shame. Because we needed the we needed the green sponge to open to do that. Oh well. The grand scheme of things is not that big of a deal. Oh no! His hitbox hit me. Gosh! I'm all out of peanut butter and jelly beans. Ew! I had my first game over! That's not good. Well, I figured I wasn't going to be able to do this without any game overs. Ooh, hey, now we got cotton candy and a bubble bath. And hey, maybe we can get the bubble bath now. <laughs> Thank goodness you can occasionally face free sponges. Right? Yeah. Just like that. Oh no. Oh, that's a dirty trick on the Donald. Oh man. I didn't realize the bubbles went up that high. Oh, come on. I feel like half of these deaths are caused by the game just not registering when I push it. What if we could use a controller? Oh hey, Mr. Seahorse. I didn't even realize him on the uh, on the left. Hey, blowfish. Alright. Ideally I don't wanna grab okay, cool, I don't have to. 
because there's a kelp seed beyond that gate. I was gonna say, I don't want to grab all of the kelp seeds in this room until I can get the worm doodle in the other room. Okay. Well, this is gonna involve more pushing the sponge this time. Ready for that. The important thing is I don't want to crush the blowfish. Thank you. There's more anglerfish that are just stuck. This is not going to be a lot of fun. Oh no, oh that's okay. Nice use of the angler fish there. That's really clever. Uh, okay, I'm out. Really cool room. I like it the way you're using the gates. This is very well done. Alright, over here, crab. Gotta catch up on points now, you know, because I'm running a little low. Okay, it looks like five levels per video is going to be the right way to go now. Let's get going! Yeah, last level of the Necrotic Cavern. I'm not sure why you call it the Necrotic Cavern, but all right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. As soon as we push that pebble down, that crab is going to be able to escape. Well, ideally, I would like that not to happen. <laughs> I'm in a sand castle. I'll come back to that later. Ah, uh, yes, bonus level. Mm, no, that's bad. I didn't want to push the sponge there. All right, I gotta think about this. So, first off, where the heck do all these whirlpools take me? Those two are like that. Those two are like that. Those two are like that. Okay. This is one of yes. Alright, exactly as I thought. Well, actually, not exactly as I thought, but that's what I needed to know. So, what we gotta do is we gotta push the green sponge. No, hang on, that's actually not going to work out. Okay. Darn it! No, I'm getting- I'm triggering this bonus level. As soon as I push that green sponge out of the middle, I, re I immediately realized- Oh wait, no, that's bad. I need that. We can deal with the rest of the room. Actually, no. First room first. I really like how that guy's trapped and I don't want to free him, so... It's just what's gonna happen. Oh wait, we're gonna have to free him eventually to to destroy those sponges. Alright, well that'll be the last kelp seed I get then. Sponges and boulders and fish bones. They make If we want the cookie, or if we, if we want the sand dollar, we're gonna need to do some uh, finagle. I do declare. Uh -oh. No, we screwed up again. <laughs> Party screws up to heck and back. Alright. Not even entirely sure what this is gonna be useful for, but alright. Kelp seed for a while. Actually, no. The one where the crab is going for last. Mm. 
Does the sand dollar even have any purpose at all? Because I don't remember there being any gates for the sand dollar to open. Oh wait a second, hang on. Was there a gate in the lower room that uh, required a sand dollar to open? I wasn't looking. What's this about knickerbockers? Oh. There, yeah, you do need the sand dollar. How the heck are you supposed to get that sand dollar? Okay, well, I, I actually really do want that extra life, so... I'm gonna figure this out. Alright. So, looking at the level... Oh, wow. Okay, I think I see it now. I like the crab trap by the fish bones. It's really good. Right. Wow. A plus puzzle right here. A plus puzzle right here. Gotta go around. Push this down through. Yep. Gotta make sure we don't crush the angler fish. Stupid angler fish. I, 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 uh, this is so intricate, holy cow. But I like it, it's really well done. But holy cow, is it intricate. I would never have been able to imagine a puzzle like this. Holy cow, this is really well done. All of this, all of this for a loaf of bread? Alright. So I'm gonna trap the anglerfish on this side now. It'll be more dangerous, but it will, it'll actually be possible to push. Yeah, you gotta do that. Now we can push this up and get the sand dollar. Wow. Just, I, I'm blown away by that. That is so cool. Holy cow. Well done, Mandel. That, that's really just amazing. I don't know what else to say, but just well done. Now, let's see if I can get the bonus level. I like how you can buff your movements in this area. So which way does this go? That goes down there. Let's leave the green sponge alone for now. Yeah, so for the time being, we're gonna leave the green sponge alone. What could this sponge be used for? 
this green sponge, I don't think we're gonna need to do anything with. Just push it there. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, oh, I see. It pushed from, uh, pushed it from this whirlpool to this whirlpool, and now it's just stuck. Okay. Actually, you might as well leave these sponges around, except the one over here. This, someone needs to put it in this. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to push the green sponge down into this one. Actually... Let's try to do it with the yellow sponge. Oh, oh, okay. And we need a sponge over there. Okay. This is why I kept this green sponge around. Oh yeah. Okay. That sponge is there, so we can enter the bonus. No. <sighs> okay. That stupid yellow sponge is gone on the, my last nerve. We are destroying it. Oh, no, we can't destroy it. We got it. This is kind of frustrating. It's a cool puzzle, but it's also a bit frustrating. Okay, now what we actually want to do is up. Push this to the left. I like how the green sponges only move one bit at a time. There we go. Now we're gonna go over back to the exit. Push the sponge down. Things I do for a bonus stage. I'm glad I tried entering the bonus room before just getting the scepter. Thank you for giving me worm goals at the start of the bonus stage. I really do. Yeah, it, really, it seems like the uh, flooded mine is going to be the tile set. Take that, you dunce. The ducks are so satisfying to hit. I'm not back up to my 9,000 points yet, but I'm actually making pretty good progress. Okay, holy cow, this level has been my favorite thus far in the pack. The, the sheer amount of puzzles that I have to cram into two rooms, that were pretty hard, but still fair. Well done, man. Well, that was fantastic. I did not expect to see more puzzles like this in the pack. I didn't even know some of these things were possible. Uh, holy cow, if this is what the pack is like this early on, I kind of shudder to think that the puzzles are going to be in later levels. We might even get to a point where we can't do five levels in one video. Especially if he starts using five levels for a level, which is what I like to do. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's that. Cool. Present. Present time. Present time. Open the present and see what's inside. <laughs> 
What's wrong, dude? You don't like present time? No. So I missed one shell. I am perfectly happy to miss one shell. That was a fantastic world. Holy cow. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time for more awesome levels. We're going to World 4 next time. And just as a little sneak preview for those of you who are interested, World 4 is called Tangled Bay. So I'm guessing it'll be either the kelp forest or the seaweed jungle, the tile says. Oh, I love both of those. I love both of those musics. I love both of those tile sets and just the way that they appear. So I'm really pumped for that. Thanks again, everybody. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.